another wonderful Thursday at Skylanders Academy. And who doesn't love Thursdays? Nothing bad ever happens on Thursdays. Yoo-hoo! Master Eon! Oh no, Master Eon! He's, he's been vaporized! How could this have happened? And on a Thursday? Friday? I should have known. Help! <laughs> Help! Here are the three suspects, Jetback. I found them all loitering in front of Eon's study. We weren't loitering. We were unconscious. A likely story. The three of you were found at the scene of the crime, which means one of you has done the unthinkable and vaporized Master Eon. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. No, really, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, you were facing away from us when you spoke. I said one of you has vaporized Master Eon. <gasps> Wait, what? Don't play dumb with me. Nailed it that time, JV. Now, we're going to get to the bottom of what happened. Even if we have to stay here all day and night. Enough, enough. I, I can't take it anymore. I'll talk. I know who vaporized Eon. Then who was it, Eruptor? Tell me. It was... <gasps> the monster. I'll explain. It all started yesterday when Jetvac was giving a lecture on the justice system. Open your textbooks to page 87. Uh, Jetvac, I don't think this book is about what you think it is. I was having trouble staying awake, not because the lecture was boring, well, that too, but because I had been up a whole night watching a horror marathon of all eight undead invasion movies. No wonder you think you saw a monster. Those horror movies got you all scared and jumpy. Not true. Ow! Ah! Don't eat my brains! Oh. I went straight home after class hoping to catch up on some sleep. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? <laughs> Oh, right. I, I should really use a more soothing sound as my alarm. But that's when I heard the most heinous, unnatural, disturbing sound of my life. You heard Pop Fizz singing in the shower again? No, thank goodness. Oh. <laughs> 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 Maybe a large stray cat got a job as a door-to-door -door salesman. Huh? Maybe the cat quit his job as a salesman and got a job tiling roofs. I couldn't take it. Something was coming for me, so I decided to seek refuge in the safest place in the academy, Eon's study. But as I ran there, I had the feeling I was being followed. <laughs> no one was following you. You're always such an overreactor. Oh yeah? Well, overreact that. <laughs> yeah? Overreact what? You're telling a story. We can't see what you're remembering. Oh. Right. Well, I just meant I saw the monster. Am I crazy? Or has Chaos actually been doing a good job as captain recently? <laughs> you are crazy! But that doesn't mean you're wrong! <laughs> right? After that raid on the rampant ruins this morning, our hold is literally overflowing with treasure. Goodbye, college loan payments. Hello, grad school loan payments. Ooh, except all this pirating has waked up quite an appetite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but think about all the food that treasure can buy us. Chocolate. Rare steak. <laughs> shrimp po' boys. Children's hopes and dreams. What? I'm on a diet. 
Oh, what's wrong, Captain? Depressed thinking about how long it's gonna take to count all that money! <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. My father's so stressed out looking for the island of Arcus, I thought I'd cheer him up. But do I get a thanks after sending him all the treasure in our hold? No! You sent all our treasure to your father? All of it! And not a single word of gratitude from him. Crazy, am I right? That treasure was our meal ticket. Literally! We were going to use it to get meals! If we don't buy some food soon, I'll get hangry. You wouldn't like me when I'm hangry! <laughs> Listen to you all talking about paying for food. We're pirates. We take what we want. If it's so easy, Captain, why not put your lack of money where your big mouth is? Looks like there's an island down there. Why don't you go and take us some dinner? With pleasure. <laughs> Avast, ye foolish landlubber, and quake in fear in the presence of Captain Chaos. Uh, who? That's right, the Captain Chaos. And I've come to claim your flock of sheep to feed my crew. So hand over those fluffy fillets. Oh, you don't want to eat my sheep. I don't? Nah, <laughs> pirate captain like you, what you really want is treasure. That's just what the pirate manual said. Did you read it too? Uh, yeah. And hey, treasure can buy a lot of food. Way better tasting food than some mangy sheep. And what's the one thing a pirate captain needs to find a treasure? I think I'd like to phone a friend. A treasure map. To find a treasure, you need a treasure map. Tell you what, because I like your style, I'll make a deal. You leave my sheep alone, maybe throw in that pirate hat, and I'll give you the treasure map to end all treasure maps. This map will lead you straight to Arcus. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the hat. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. As I was saying, I managed to evade the monster and make it to the library. <laughs> so there I was, courageously hiding under Master Eon's desk when... Now, where did I leave that? <laughs> Silly scaredy rock. It's just Master Eon. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I saw what had happened to Master Eon. <gasps> I didn't want to get vaporized myself, so I ran to get help. Where the monster was waiting to knock me unconscious. A monster? <laughs> that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well then, Stealth Elf, if that is your real name. You know it is. The story checks out. If it was not Eruptor's monster who vaporized Master Eon, who was it? It was Spyro. <gasps> Ooh, twist. And as you'll finally see on page 478, crime does not pay. I'd say the real crime is how long-winded this textbook is. Now, Eruptor's story wasn't too far from the truth, but he left out one key detail. The so-called monster was already in our midst. Ow! Ah! <gasps> Don't eat my brain! After being attacked by Cassandra, I was already on high alert. In fact, I could barely focus on anything Jetback was saying. Does no one listen to my lectures? All I could think about was protecting myself at any cost, which meant it was time to train. <laughs> Now this is where our stories diverge. The bloodthirsty creature Eruptor thought he heard? Yeah, that was me doing target practice. I know what I heard. <gasps> and there wasn't any large cat on the roof either. Unless you count my leaping tiger kick. Ah! I can't take it anymore. I don't want to be undead. <laughs> he really needs to start watching romantic comedies. And that's when I saw Spyro lurking suspiciously around the team house. My gut told me something wasn't right. So when he followed after Eruptor, 
I decided to follow him. The shadowy figure chasing after Eruptor? Yeah, that was Spyro. Eh, well, to be fair, my complexion is a bit on the dusky side these days. I followed him into the academy, nervous as to what I might find. Have no fear, your captain is here. Feast your eyes on this. That better be a receipt for all the takeout you ordered us. Nope. Even better, it's a map. Eh? We sent you down there to wrestle up some grub, and you brought back a measly piece of paper? Oh, it's not just any piece of paper. It's a map to Arcus, which happens to be the place my father is searching for. If we can find Arcus for him, then I'll finally win his approval and he'll reward us with anything we desire, including food. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have an evil sorcerer in our debt, mostly so I can get out of debt. All right, we're in. But if your map don't lead us to fame and fortune, and most importantly, food, then we'll be eating something else instead. Let's get out. Like what? Like, like you. you. Stomach, it would be growling right now. I had just gone inside the academy looking for Spyro, and that's when it happened. <gasps> the same blast that Eruptor heard. I knew in my gut that something bad had happened. But what I wasn't prepared for was to see who was behind it. Spyro? <gasps> And that's all I remember. I've been sensing a dark presence at the Academy for a while now. And as much as it pains me to say it, all of Spyro's strange behavior, his new look and powers, the way he sent me off with Captain Flynn when I started getting suspicious, with the fact that he somehow knew I was being attacked by Cassandra, it all leads me to one conclusion. Spyro vaporized Eon. <laughs> You are too much. Oh, that was a riveting little ninja tale, but I gotta say the ending was kind of weak. Two thumbs down. That's still a thing, right? With the thumbs? Spyro, what are you talking about? Dude, I'm innocent. You know me. I could never do something like that. Well, Spyro, if you're so sure of your inculpability, perhaps you'd like to give your version of what happened. Hmm. I thought you'd never ask. Eruptor and Elf had this part right. Jetvac was giving a lecture, and it was boring. <sighs> Why do I even bother? But I wasn't trying to shoot Jetvac with a spitball. I was trying to get rid of a saboteur. He was clearly still sore after losing the Protector of the Year award to us and had to be stopped. Ow! Ah! Ah! Don't eat my brain! Needless to say, Jetvac wasn't thrilled. So as punishment, he assigned me janitorial duty. But in case you've forgotten, I'm a hero. Punishment or not, I still had to perform my usual daily quota of awesome and selfless deeds. <laughs> what can I say? Heroism never sleeps. <clears throat> anyway, after an exhausting afternoon of saving the day, it was time for my janitorial duty. I can't take it anymore! I don't want to be undead! Normally, this would have given me pause, but Eruptor had been acting like a scaredy cat ever since watching all those horror flicks. You try watching all eight Undead Invasion movies in a row. Eruptor, they only made one Undead Invasion movie. You just watched the same movie eight times. And now that I think about it, the plots did seem rather recycled. Oh, don't mind me. I was just in the middle of trying to clear my name. Sorry. Sorry. Contrary to Elf's story, I wasn't going after Eruptor. I was heading back to the Academy to clean. 
And I wasn't lurking, I was limping. I mean, kudos to all the janitors out there. It's tough lugging around all that equipment. And I wasn't mopping up evidence, I was just mopping. Man, those hallways are filthy. And it didn't help that Eruptor left a trail of gravel behind him. Again, I was scared. Anyway, that's when I heard the blast. <sighs> I leaned down to clean up my mess, and when I looked up... <sighs> yep, I was knocked out just like the others. And like them, it was at the hand of some kind of shadowy figure. I don't know who vaporized Master Eon, but it sure wasn't me. Well, I'm at a loss. At least one of you is lying. And yet my lie detector inexplicably says you're all telling the truth. True. Which is true? That they're all lying or that they're all telling the truth? Yes. I really despise this thing. If only there was another way to get to the bottom of this. Uh, actually, there is. I installed a new hidden camera system after Eon kept complaining that someone was stealing his lunches. Why didn't you say that to begin with? Uh, because... I'm the one who's been stealing his lunches. He makes the best tuna salad. I don't get it. It should be right here. Maybe it's one of those trendy new invisible islands. Eh? 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 Look! Where? I knew it! It's Arcus! Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it. I got what I wanted. So that's what it feels like. I like it. From now on, we're going to be living large. Me larger than the rest of you, obviously. Father's gonna be so impressed. Eh? Hey, hey, welcome to Arcsaurus. How you nice folks doing today? You? So what kind of arc are you in the market for, huh? Avoiding a flood or just weekend use? <laughs> oh, I see you got our flyer. Flyer? You said this was a treasure map. Let me see that. <sighs> this wasn't a treasure map at all. Uh, it was a viral marketing campaign. This is definitely not going to impress Father. Uh, well, Father's Day is coming up, and nothing says I love you, Dad, like a refurbished ark. Why don't you just take a look at the showroom in the back? We warned you what would happen if you didn't come through this time. One way or another, a wolf got <gasps> to eat. Wee! You boys sure don't know what you're missing for that grand opening. The Ark store got a whole barbecue set up round back. We've got two servings of every animal. <laughs> Chaos would have tasted gamey anyway. Plus all those little bones you'd have to pick out. Ugh. Oh, you got lucky this time, Captain. But like my auntie always said, there ain't always gonna be a barbecue to get you out of trouble. Your aunt always said that? Yep. She was an odd woman. Wise, but odd. Hey, I'm on TV. Now we'll be able to see how we are all knocked on. <laughs> Conscious. At least we can close the book on that mystery. Sorry. But we still don't know who vaporized Master Eon. Look, there's a shadow. Oh, oh, it must be the assassin. Jetpack? Jet How could it be? I, I don't even remember being out last night. A criminal mastermind so diabolical, he doesn't even know he's a criminal mastermind. I suppose there's no denying it in light of this evidence. I guess I'm the one who vaporized Master Eon. Vaporized who? <gasps> You're alive! I can't believe it. So good to see you. We thought you'd been... Oh, oh, I can't even say it. The thought is too unbearable. Thank goodness. Where have you been all this time? Down at the lake. I went out late last night for a moonlight swim. <laughs> Invigorating. That explains why his robe was on the ground. Indeed. But when I got there, the mosquitoes were out in full force. <gasps> so I returned for my military-grade bug spray. It's lethal in large doses. And that's when I ran into Jetvac. Caught him wandering about sleepwalking again. 
How did you not know you sleepwalk? Probably because I'm asleep at the time. Wait, wait, wait. But what about the pile of dust? Pile of... Oh! Oh, no, that, that's not dust. I must have tracked some sand back in with me. It gets everywhere. Another open and shut case for Detectives Hugo and Jetvac. Now that whatever nonsense has been going on in my absence is settled, we can all return to the beach. So, who wants to do my back? <gasps> hey, I guess I owe you an apology for, you know, the whole accusing you of vaporizing Master Eon thing. Oh, that. Yeah, forget about it. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. Cassandra told me to trust my instincts, but I guess they were wrong. Again. Look, we all make mistakes. Even me. Like yesterday, I was so tired that I brushed my teeth with Pop's Zit Cream by accident. Though my teeth have never looked so clear, clean, and under control. Thanks for understanding. Friend still? Always. You heading to the lake? Oh, uh, yeah. I will, I'll meet you there. Just gonna hang back a minute, see if there's any more of Master Eon's famous tuna salad in the fridge. Tricor, what are you doing? Someone could see you. And they will be dealt with. Yeah. Mm -hmm.